Hi, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us again for Heart to Heart interviews with CI Heartland. Today we have Miss Michelle Olenchek from DNI. Michelle, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much. <laughs> Tell us a little bit um, about what um, role you serve um, on the committees with CEI. Um, currently, I'm with the communications committee, so I am the chair of that and um, facilitate the meetings along with much help from, from you, of course. <laughs> um, and I enjoy that. Um, communications, um, I think, uh, more knowledge is power and how do you get that out to everybody, but communicate. So it's perfect. Exactly. exactly. How long have you been with CEI, if you can remember? I know it's been a while. Um, I want to think it's a lot, 10 years, I think. That's awesome. Oh, um, was there somebody or something that encouraged you to get more involved with CEI and like join a committee? Well, let me see. I think her name was Kathy something. <laughs> was it me? Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> I love it. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad I pulled you in. I need to do, I need to do that more often and pull in. Um, we have a hard time sometimes keeping managers on committee. So I guess I need to make some personal phone calls <laughs> and then, um, get people to join. <laughs> um, what I know it's been a crazy, crazy year, especially for managers, especially for our managers. Um, what has been the most challenging thing that you think you face um, in the industry right now? Um, definitely it was the, the, the pandemic, um, trying to make sure we have all of our man managers on board. Um, you really have to make sure that your uh, boards, you know, your portfolio and your board members are, they understand that you're still out there with them and you're working with them. and. You have to get your face out there and it's been very challenging a lot of them um don't participate in a lot of technical yeah you know they're, they're traveling whatever the reason is um so that's been a real challenge um for us yeah i think i think for being injured just across the board absolutely okay Perfect. here comes the fun questions um, what's your favorite CEI event? Do you have a favorite event that you like to come to every year? Well, of course it's the manager's reception. <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's funny because not everybody has said that though. So I'm <laughs> glad that I like, I like every, everyone has something different. So I like that. Um, yeah, I, I assume you're coming on June the 9th to Foss Park, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Do you have a favorite CEI memory? I do. Uh, whenever um, we took the trip um, to uh, DC, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, was that year for the um, annual, and uh, I had a great time. Um, Jenny Block and yourself, and um, it was just good to get there and meet other people and and see what other chapters are doing. Yes, Michelle. For those that don't know, Michelle was um, was one of those recipients of the manager scholarship. So that was awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Todd Billy and Sandberg Phoenix and absolutely. Marvin Noda for starting that scholarship. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Awesome. If you were going to encourage someone to join CAI, what would you say to them? I know that you're one of our big recruiters here in our mm -hmm. chapter, and I get business partners that call me all the time and say, Michelle from DNI told me that I need to talk to you. So um, what do you tell them to get them to call me and, and, and get them to join? Well, of course we use our, 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 our newest phrase, fierce friends, um, but there's so much um, interactive knowledge going on in the industry um, we have some great leaders and you know it's just an opportunity for them a lot of them want to give back to the community especially with this pandemic and um, it, it seems that you know of course it's with a whole lot of exuberance <laughs> i love it i love that uh, i love that <laughs> enthusiasm that i share with them but i you know and and, and they they don't even they don't get away with just telling me oh yeah I think I'll do that I follow up with them and say did you call Kathy yet <laughs> <laughs> I love it persistence yes right exactly <laughs> love it um, what is something that maybe our members might not know about you oh hmm. 
<laughs> that you're willing to share. Oh, that I'm willing to share. <laughs> now there's a difference there. Um, well, something probably I didn't know till recently within the last couple of years, I found out when we went on vacation last year um, that I have a growing fear of heights. Me too. <laughs> You're not alone in that. <laughs> so where were you at when you, um, where were you vacationing at when you realized that? Uh, we took a family vacation uh, to Colorado. And um, of course there's lots of mountains there. Um, <laughs> Uh, we were traveling up Pikes Peak. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Up to the summit. <laughs> and yes. um, we didn't take the tram. We were driving. <laughs> and it was um, challenging, but I did it. I bought the shirt that told me so. I made it up. <laughs> yeah. My husband likes all those kind of um, those places like that. And I don't, not so much. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful to, to see it, but um, yeah, not always when you're afraid of heights. I get that. So, but I yeah. had to be strong because the grandkids were with me, you know, so you gotta, <laughs> gotta set the good example, right? <laughs> right, exactly. And how many grandchildren do you have? I have three and five bonus grandchildren. That's awesome. So eight total. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. So do you have a crazy story that you want to share with us? Um, anything that you've faced in the industry? that you can share. <laughs> oh, see, there's the Some difference again. Some stories you can't share, so. That's the difference again. <laughs> um, a crazy story. Uh, well, you come across all kinds of <clears throat> different situations, you know, whether it's a HOA or um, with a condominium association. Uh, but I, I do know we, we've had some challenging times um, with either vandalism, unfortunately. Um, some of them have to do with swimming and then, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, where'd that kid go? And then all of a sudden there's a rescue. Um, it kind of takes you by surprise, takes your breath away and then you make you know, sure everything's okay. Um, but nothing really one thing stands out to me. Maybe I'll share something later. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Good. Good. So now comes the fun part where I call it rapid fire questions. So Michelle, uh -oh. will you pick um, a number, either one, two or three for me? Let's see. Three is good. Three is good. Okay. Let me grab this. So you selected, would you rather questions? Oh no. <laughs> Are you ready? Playing a game? Yeah. Is there a prize? <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll buy you a drink at the Bianca reception. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. Would you rather go into the past and meet your past ancestors, or go in the future and meet your great grandchildren? Great grandchildren. Yeah, that's a good one. Would you rather have more time or more money? Oh, more time, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Depends on the situation, but probably a rerun. Yeah. Would you rather be able to talk with animals or speak all of the foreign languages? Oh, talk with animals, sure. <laughs> I talk to my dog all the time, but you know. <laughs> Now, see me. I think I'd want to. I think I want to hear all the foreign languages because that way you could hear what everybody was talking. You know, sometimes you hear people talking and you don't know what they're saying. So, I don't yeah, know. But you know, Doctor Doolittle, he talks to the animals. Yeah, there you go. Or what was that? Um, Wild Thornberries. I don't know if you remember. It was like a show that used to be on Nickelodeon. My kids used to watch, and one of the girls would talk to animals. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Twice as long. Would you feel worse if no one showed up for your wedding or your funeral? Wow, that's a tough one. <laughs> it is. It is a tough one. Some of them are hard. Uh, probably um, wedding. 
wedding. Would you rather lose your vision or lose your hearing? Hearing. Hearing? <laughs> I gotta see. <laughs> That's me too. I'm totally visual. I get it. Okay. Would you rather work more hours per day, but fewer days or work fewer hours per day, but more days? Both already. <laughs> Bad question for a community manager. Sorry. No kidding. <laughs> um, probably less hours in a day because, you know, it never stops. So. I know. You guys always work so hard. So thank you for taking the time to do this today. That's the end of the rapid fire question. So now you get a 30 second plug. You can either plug your company if you want, you can plug your favorite charity. Um, so any anybody that you wanna plug, you can go. Oh, um, I would like to plug, um, let's see, Children's Hospital um, for several reasons. Um, my son was born three months early and um, 37 years ago, and they did a wonderful job and they continue to do so. Um, and then my um, nephew, unfortunately, he was passed uh, at a young age. He he was he had um, childhood uh, leukemia, and uh, they were a wonderful wonderful to him. And then in adulthood, uh, he also uh, came succumbed to cancer. So um, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, but they they do a wonderful job, and they hire people with the biggest hearts um, at, at children. So yeah, yeah, it takes special kind of angels to um, you know to do those kind of jobs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good charity to push. I love that. Um, well, that's the end of our interview. Is there anything else you would like to to tell the group about you? No, I'm just surprised when I look at my calendar and I'll, I'll be, well, not just in the industry, but here at DNI for a little over 17 years. And I'm, I wonder sometimes how, <laughs> how I kept on and people ask me that and I say, well, just got to roll with the punches. There you go. Every day is a different challenge, but every day is a new day, right? It's never, it's never Absolutely. the same. <laughs> yep. For sure. Yeah. You're living the dream, Michelle. <laughs> Every day in paradise. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for letting us interview you. Our, um, and we look forward to seeing you next time at Heart to Heart Interviews with CI Heartland. Thanks and have a good day. Thanks you. Thanks so much. Bye.